Welcome to MainStreetEnglish.com. In today's Main Street English lesson, we are going to cover the 12 English language idioms about time. Thank you for joining us today for this lesson. Please like and subscribe to our channel to get notified when we release more free English lessons. Let's get started. Twelve English language idioms about time. Let's go over these very simple, twelve English language idioms about time in today's lesson. After all, time is the most valuable thing we have in today's modern world. If you are learning English as a second language, then idioms can be very useful in conversations with native speakers. That's why we put together this list of common idioms about time, along with some example sentences of how they're used. Number one. Better late than never. This is one of the most widely used idioms in English. Examples for you to use when referring to time. The report is long overdue, but better late than never. A couple of similar idioms to this are just in the nick of time, which means for something to occur just before it's too late. And another one commonly used is beat the clock. Which means, to finish something just before a deadline. Number 2. On the spur of the moment. This means, to do something spontaneously, perhaps acting on a sudden feeling, or inspiration. Example sentence. Kate and Mark drove to the beach, on the spur of the moment. Number 3. Once in a blue moon. Used to describe something that happens very rarely, or almost never. Example sentence. Homebodies Lisa and Chris only go out once in a blue moon. Number 4. Living on borrowed time. Is generally used to say that someone has continued to survive against expectations, with the implication that this will not be for much longer. Example sentence. After Jack had a serious heart attack, he felt like he was living on borrowed time. Number 5. In the interim. A useful expression for a time interval. Which means, meanwhile, or, in between. Example sentence. The boss will be back next week. In the interim, the workers will be stocking shelves and cleaning. Number 6. In broad daylight. You will often hear this phrase in movies or books. It means, that something happens during the day, when it is light out, in public, and it is surprising, or unexpected because of this. Example sentence. Two coyotes brazenly walked across the lawn, in broad daylight. Number 7. Against the clock. This means, to do something as quickly as possible, and try to finish it, before a deadline. Examples are In movies, writers love to create countdowns where the main characters are working against the clock. These are related idioms you can also use. Time flies refers to how quickly time passes when you need to get something done. And another one is Crunch time refers to the period just before a deadline. Number 8 All in good time this phrase is used to mean that something will happen eventually, at some point in the future, once a long enough amount of time passes. For example, Linda thought she was going to become an old maid, but her mother assured her that she would find the right person one day and get married all in good time. Number 9. Big Time. This idiom means the highest or most successful level in a career. Used most commonly in the entertainment business. It can also mean on a large scale, to a great extent. Example sentence. When the actor landed his big break in the newest superhero movie, he made it big time. Number 10. The time is ripe. This means that the right time has come to do something. Here is an example sentence. Matthew had always wanted to take a trip overseas, 
and the time was finally ripe. Number 11. Have the time of your life. To have a delightful experience. Let's use this in an example sentence. Mary had the time of her life touring Italy. Number 12. Time is money. This famous phrase is attributed to Benjamin Franklin and is often used in connection with business and employment. Example sentence. It's wise to use every minute productively because time is money. I'm sure these 12 expressions we covered together today will be useful to you when speaking with others. Thank you for watching our English lesson at MainStreetEnglish.com. If you have any questions or want to share your favorite idioms about time, then please leave us a message in the comments and we'll reply back to you. Please like and subscribe to get notified when we release more free English lesson videos with MainStreetEnglish.com. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you and have a great day.